You see? No, that's not the problem. You see, when I found the body, I heard the sound. There was a voice singing the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. See, you heard a voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, you might cross examine the witness. I keep changing that. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. No worries, baby cakes. It's time for discovery. You see, when I heard the but when I found the body I had the time. Hold it. You said heard, not saw? Yes, heard. <clears throat> All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else, least of all my watch. Hmm, isn't that a little strange? So you're saying you heard something. But if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. The witness did, the witness did say he actually heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't hear anything. I have to agree with the prosecution. Witness, continue your testimony. Question my judge. There was a voice saying that time. It was probably coming from the television. You don't even know that. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Well, no. I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally... Oh. See, see, I'm... I'm I'll leave for a few minutes so I can get the voice of oh. Incidentally, there was, a, there was no radio on the premises. Uh, Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. The witness has testified. He heard the time. Ugh. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? Wait. Ooh, she's right. OBJECTION! Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <gasps> you couldn't have heard a television. Or a video. Ah, my toupee! No! I... I... Well... <coughs> the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. <laughs> ah! Wait, I, wait, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Ow! Crap, that elbow. That, and you seem rather... Uh, distraught. Ah! Wake up again. M my apologies, Your Honor. It, er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Well, very well, Mr. Solid. Let's see your testimony once more, please. Let's stop correcting, you fucking asshole. Here in the time. Actually, I did hear the time. I saw it. Get it? Saw it. <laughs> there was a tablecloth in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the mother weapon. The killer used it to kill the, to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Are you sure? You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Your Honor. I actually didn't hear it? Okay. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. A table clock? There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? No. A table clock? Was there a table clock at the crunch at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. The murder weapon? Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy. That must have been what I saw. Isn't the murder weapon a statue? 
Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now how was this supposed to be a clock? Wah! You, you with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? You piece of shit. Just answer the question, Mr. Solid. Hey, I, I saw it there. Okay, that's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says this time out loud. Really? As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So, the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problem with this testimony now? Yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness' testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly, a contradiction. Bada bing, bada boom. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with a clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. You coward. No, 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 no. Order and accord, you fuck nuggets. Shut the fuck up. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Solid. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What? What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless. Uh, this is all baseless conjecture. Is it baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with a clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw, Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It, it was him, I tell you. I saw him. He, he killed her, and he should burn. Burn! Give him death! Order! Order, all you fuck nuggets! God! For fuck's sake. Make me lose my voice over this bullshit. Your Honor, I, a moment please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness can't heard came from the clock. Ah, uh, excuse me. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is running out. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Solid heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock here. Uh, let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is a thinker, after all. Oh, God. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy, bleh, discrepancy between what Mr. Sawyer heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawyer, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh-oh, what's he talking about? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know I was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Oh, shut the fuck up. But he is right. How am I gonna prove that? Damn it! I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sowick. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Uh, 
Almost had him. <sighs> Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sawit! Ooh. Huh? What? Nick? Mia! I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time downing the vex. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Ah. Can you think of a reason why as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? The passport. Oops. The passport. She came home from Paris, so it only assumes that, you know, the, the time and all that. Yeah. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off! Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running, running slow. Blah. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast! The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? Ha! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? O order! Order, I say! There shall be order! Or I shall kill you all! No, I'm just kidding. Did he just best the fuck out? Well, um, so that happened. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. I mean, a man just freaking foamed at the mouth and passed the fuck out. I mean, you know. Mr. Payne, your client? He, er, uh, he, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. After foaming at the mouth and almost dying. Very well, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Hey, guys. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen anyone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Yeah! Cheers and applause and all that crap. Yeah! And with that, the court is adjourned. Blink, blink. Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. Really? He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of their house. Houses. That day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Yeah. He could find. And. Conked around the head. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m., two days before my birthday, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Uh, which, right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen it. I'm sorry. <laughs> if she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! Turn my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. Oh, I'm sorry. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait. No, I mean, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. Uh, but, 
But my Cindy Winnie Pooh is gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a. No, nah, never mind. She was a slip, bro. Congratulations, Harry. It's 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 Larry. <laughs> Harry. Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. Hey, you're really pretty, also. Hey, you wanna you wanna come by my place sometime? You know, let me sign in and I'm sorry. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Hey, here. Take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Ah. Uh... Yo, Nick. Look, look at this. Look, do you see his emotion? The way it changed that quickly? Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't make none that make you just want to cry. <laughs> Larry. Hmm. Are you still sure? E e excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? The actual statue, bro. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? Where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Uh, hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks, man. I love you, man. I'm so much fun. <laughs> Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things uh, things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah! <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry. Larry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe. Over drinks? Uh... And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me, unless he count the clock he gave me up. Hmm. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be the one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Dun dun dun! Oh, sadness. The end. Dun dun! Turn about sisters. Okay. Save please stage today. Here you go. Tell me it's not gonna okay good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for the first episode of this series. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you for watching this. Uh next episode should be coming either tonight or the day after. It should be coming someone uh, sometime this week. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you guys. Have a great day. Remember to stay awesome. Peace out, y'all.